Hello, welcome to this short video on installing Z Shell on Ubuntu. Uh, my name is Roger Perkin and I'm a network engineer based in the UK, uh, focusing now on network automation. So we're using Ubuntu today and I've got Visual Studio Code here and I'm using the terminal. I'm connected to my Ubuntu machine and as you can see the prompt is the standard bash shell. Um, if you've not heard of Z Shell before, it's a fantastic shell and um, it gives you a lot more features which I will show you in a minute and I guarantee that once you've installed Z Shell and start using it you will not want to turn back. So before we do anything I'm just going to do a quick sudo app get update just to make sure our packages are up to speed and they are. So to install Z Shell it's as simple as doing sudo app get install zsh okay do you want to continue yes i do so once this is installed you've got two options so the first option is to configure it manually and set all the different features up yourself um, but i what i would highly suggest is you go to this website um, I'll drop a link down below. That is omyz.sh. Now, this is a, a configuration to let you expand on the use of Z Shell. And to install it, we just need to scroll down. So, from the top of the site here, just scroll down and grab this. And it's a, a curl script. And we're just going to pop that in there. Now this then says, do you have an existing Z shell config? No. So then it says, do you want to change your default shell to Z shell? So I say yes. It'll ask you for your password. And now it says my shell has successfully changed to user bin Z shell. Also, using the oh my Z shell um, configurations. So I'm just going to clear this and get rid of that. So you can see now, if I make this a touch bigger, that my prompt has now changed and it's including some Git status. So this is telling me that I'm currently on the master branch and that this yellow cross means that I have some unstaged um, and tracked changes. So if I just do a quick get status, uh, you can see that I do have some files that haven't been staged or are not tracked. And to, to validate that, if I go back and I change to a different folder, if I go to my folder, this then says that uh, I'm now on the desktop. Now the desktop folder is not configured for Git, so I don't get the uh, the Git prompt there. But if I change into my network programmability uh, prompt, we now see that this is a Git master, and I've got some changes that need addressing. And once I have addressed those, this will go away. So I hope that's been very helpful for you. Um, if you want to get into network automation and you want to learn things like Ansible and Nornia and Python, then do check the link below um, for my courses. And I'll be doing plenty more of these videos delving into the development technologies that uh, we network engineers are now having to learn. So I hope this tutorial on Z Shell has been very helpful and install it. You will love it. See you in the next video.